So you've jailbroken iOS 10.2, now what? Well, you install a bunch of tweaks, tweaks that'll make your life better, tweaks that'll make your device look better, and so much more. So I've got 50 brand new and updated tweaks for iOS 10, 10.1.1, and 10.2 that I'll be sharing with you in this video. Let's get started. BioProtect is back. You can individually lock applications from prying eyes or fingers, and there's a new theming platform. It actually looks quite good, and this functionality should have been included in iOS already. Eclipse 4 is officially here. It's a true dark mode for iOS 10. Unlike Noctis, which just changes UI elements, this actually changes entire apps to be fully dark, meaning your device is so much more useful at night. Now, a dark mode for applications doesn't quite work with a white keyboard. That's why I recommend and blurred. It adjusts your keyboard system wide to include the dark keyboard that's stock in iOS in some areas. And Eclipse's biggest competition comes from Noctis. It changes the UI element colors in iOS to be slightly darker. This includes the notification center, the actual widgets, and the control center. It looks great and has an easy toggle. This combined with Horseshoe, which makes everything on your control center compact and goes back to one page like in iOS 9, is a must. Also, of course, with these, I have to recommend Platters. Platters is recent apps and favorite apps in two separate pages on your control center. Giving your old device a speed boost is certainly possible with Speed Intensifier. It reduces the time span of an animation to actually make your device feel like it's opening and closing these apps faster. If you've ever felt that your device speakers are just too quiet, you can actually go above and beyond the recommended limit and actually go to 200% volume. Now, I wouldn't recommend going above 125 to 150, but it will actually make your speaker much louder. A major disadvantage of the iOS 10 jailbreak is that you have to re-sign the jailbreak IPA every seven days, but Yalu time will actually let you know how many days you have until you need to re-sign, so it can make life a little bit easier. And here's classic switcher, so it brings back the memories from the good old iOS 5 and iOS 6 days. You can change the theme in here, but basically change your app switcher to the old style, and you can actually have the old media controls in there too. Clearing out the app switcher individually can be a pain, but with Kill Background 10, you can do it all at once. It saves you a lot of time. Now, if you want a free alternative to Kill Background 10, there is Swipe Home. So if you actually swipe the home card in the app switcher view up, it'll just go ahead and clear the whole app switcher. Switch switcher gives you this neat sound effect every time you swipe up a card in the app switcher. Insta Launcher is one of the fastest ways to quickly access any app without having to search for it, particularly useful if you have a ton. You can also get some favorites down here, but it's set with an activator gesture and it can be extremely useful. The first true native file browser for iOS 10 has been released. It's called Filesa, and it's basically a very good iFile replacement that is absolutely free iFile is not optimized for iOS 10, but this is. This is HandyKey. It's actually very neat because it activates a hidden feature in iOS 10 that Apple didn't activate by default. With a two-finger swipe, you can change the keyboard to be a one-handed keyboard for either hand. So swipe it again and go to the other left hand over here, swipe back to go to the middle. And what you're seeing up here is iKeyWe. So that allows you to get another row on top of your regular keys for the numbers or extra symbols. Very useful. Nude Keys has received its official iOS 10 update, and man does it look good. It allows you to get a gradient between two colors in your keyboard with a mix of any color that you want. Lock HTML 4 has been updated in alpha for iOS 10, so it's a pre-release version, but it allows you to get these really cool widgets for either time, date, any notifications, anything really that you set it to. There are hundreds of possibilities. I, for example, have this one. You can easily move it around. This replaces my clock and date, and it's a very, very clean look, a way to theme your lock screen. Copying text in iOS 10 can be a pain in the ass sometimes. So let's say I just want to select this, but it actually brings this grid out and I have to select everything. In some cases it's worse, but with better text selection, you can disable the square text selector and just have it select the text. It makes life so much easier. Let's say I need to remember this text right here and type it in somewhere else. So with Snapper 2, I could actually select it and have it hang on my display. So if I want to go ahead and put a number into my phone number, into my messages, I could do that. Whatever the reason, keep a certain amount of your display and image on until you don't need it anymore. Tiny Player Pro is a very small media player. You can actually move it around anywhere, have it open anywhere, collapse it, hide it. And to play a song, just press play and you can double tap it 
to skip a song, triple tap to go back, even double tap on this to collapse into a very tiny icon. Very, very neat media player. Finger Touch is basically a virtual home for iOS 10. So without needing to press your home button, just tapping on it, this is what you can do. One tap goes home, double tap actually opens up the app switcher, tap and hold, locks your device. A triple tap can activate your flashlight, which is really, really neat shortcut actually. And tap and hold will open up the most recently opened app. Multi-icon mover is a very useful tool for moving more than one application to another page. Just select them when they're wiggling and go ahead and click the home button on another page. Gorgon or Gorgon is a tool that allows you to get iPad Pro features on your iPhone, such as slide over and multitasking. So just go ahead and slide over. And for example, I've got Instagram over here and just go ahead and center them. And now you can manage two applications at once. How cool is this guy? So you can actually choose from a host of different apps, but I've just got Instagram loaded right here. Incredible productivity tool. Grasshopper is a video pane replacement that allows you to get picture in picture another iPad Pro exclusive feature on your iPhone. So get this video hanging over here while you do other things on your device. And Anemone, which allows you to install themes, has officially been updated to support iOS 10.2, so no more needing a fix for it. And I wanted to share a couple of my favorite themes with you. So the one I'm using is called Waffle. And this is basically what it looks like on my home screen. But if I wanted to disable that and install Lotus, which is another favorite, this is what that looks like. For extreme Snapchatters, here is Streak Notify. It will actually tell you when your streak expires. So if you want to keep that streak going, you can do so using this tweak. So here is Tints Tink. I don't really know how to pronounce it, but it changes the shade of the notification center every time you pull it down. And this thing with Cheddar is actually a really neat to look. It matches the banner headers to the actual color of the application it's coming from. Speak notification is actually much better than I thought it would be. It announces every notification you get. Messages. Message from everything Apple Pro. Pay up, bitch. Next one is Messages. Face. Message from everything what? Apple Pro. I want you to die, you piece of shit. All right. Anyways, next one is Face Down. Every time you turn your device upside down or lay it flat on a table, it'll lock it. And here is Sonus. It's a very clean way to change your volume without interrupting what you're doing. You can actually even interact with it and just slide it like this and it's a very clean look. Now next one is Flip Control Center, which I think is an absolute must. So it's basically CC settings and it allows you to get so much more toggles up here in your control center. This plus Noctis or any dark mode is really nice. It also adds extra toggles to the bottom. And CCT button actions allows you to do shortcuts in the top row of the control center. So when you 3D touch on these icons, they give you certain settings and when you click on, it'll take you to that setting for that particular button. And this partnered with Out of Control is a very neat look for your control center. It randomizes the color of the icon every time you turn your device on and off. And this is Barrel. Oh, how can I forget you? It works perfectly with iOS 10. It allows you to get animations when swiping between pages. Cuttlefish customizes the 3D touch menu every time you do it with different colored icons. So it changes accordingly and it can be a really nice look. So really fresh 3D touch. And how I get these icons to stay anywhere on the springboard is with Anchor. So you can put them anywhere you want, get some really nice designs. And I'd highly recommend Battery Life Beta. It's a tweak for monitoring your battery health. This is down to the details that Apple wouldn't let you see on a stock iOS device, such as milliamp battery cycles and how you can actually prevent the battery from dying faster. And what you're seeing up here on the top right is lithium ion. It changes the theme of your device's battery meter. It's so cool because I love this Zelda one and it's just officially been updated for iOS 10. Iconizer is a very impressive tweak, a lot like Springtimize. It allows you to change the complete look of your app icons on your home screen. So let's say icon image. I wanna go ahead and apply a filter to it. One of my favorites is the pixelate. So as soon as I apply it, I can go back out and all of my icons are immediately pixelated. You can go ahead and go through these, pointillize, it changes the look completely. Swipe for more is a must for anyone that installs a lot of tweaks in Cydia. It gives you a whole bunch of options in here. So you can add to queue, you can reinstall the app, delete it just like this. And one of my favorites, App Drawer, has been updated. It's an area where you can go ahead and find all of your apps 
neatly organized and you can search through them and even add favorites, a lot like an Android function. Now, if you've got prying eyes in your life, you can hide conversations in your messages app like this. Using Hidden Convos Pro, just go ahead and hide individual threads and you can go ahead and re-enable them using a hidden feature. Stealth Cam has been updated for iOS 10. It allows you to take secret pictures and videos in your camera app. Now, when you go ahead and lock it in the app using the power button, it's technically not locked. Your display is just off and this applies to video or photo. Now just use the volume up and down buttons to take a video. And when I go ahead and click the home, as you can see, I took all those pictures with my screen off. Also a very neat feature to bring to the camera is tap, tap, flip, which is a Snapchat exclusive feature that when you double tap on the screen in here, it reverses cameras. And if you guys don't want to pay for a dark mode, such as Noctis or Eclipse, you can actually get a free text messages app using dark messages. It's optimized for iOS 10 and works great. And here is Assistive Plus. It's a great tool in particular for people with a broken home button. So it's Assistive Touch, but much better. You can go ahead and click on it once to actually exit an app, hold it, and you can lock your device, respring it, go into app switcher or screenshot from in here. Much like the glitch I showed you on unjailbroken devices to remove labels, this is Hide Labels 10. It gives you a beautiful clean look by removing all of the labels on the icons in iOS 10. And this is Folder 6 Plus. You can get much more icons in a folder just like on iPads. And guys, there it is. That is my top 50 brand new Cydia tweaks for the iOS 10.2 and 10.1.1 jailbreak. Anyways guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed these. Peace.